Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles and today is Thursday so I thought today we'd do another fun kind of arrangement of origami on one of these um, shikichi or boards that we use in Japan to display artwork and calligraphy and finished origami and such. And uh, you can really use any board, a uh, mat board works really good for these kinds of things. The idea is just to sort of create a picture with the different pieces of paper. Um, I thought because just as a last little bit of summer here um, before we get into fall more and such, I do kind of an arrangement of these uh, little cornflower um, origami and uh, kind of like the the field of cornflower if we could. And um, uh, I've made quite a few of them here because I wanted to try to kind of create the feeling of a uh, kind of uh, field of the flowers if you will. But, um, and I've used actually, how many do I have here? Eight big ones and four small ones, it looks like. When I made all of these little guys, I just used some uh, Taunt paper. This is a special series, it's all blue toned papers. Um, the different colors that cornflower comes in so varied. That usually a really pretty deep blue though, but it can get to purple and uh, darker blues and lighter blues as well. So try to kind of mix it up to sort of create the feeling of the flower and how pretty it is. Um, and um, I always remember the color cornflower from my crayon box because I thought that was always such a pretty color and I don't know if I really quite got the match for that. But um, Taunt paper is a really great paper to use for this. Um, if you do like the uh, accent of white though, the original cornflower origami I showed you guys before, if you use origami paper that has that white side, you do get a little bit of white under here. Um, whereas with this, because it's a, it's a double-sided solid color paper, um, you get an entire color for the entire piece of origami. So it kind of depends on your preference. But um, if you need a reminder of how to make the cornflower flower, I'll have a link for it here. But um, for what I've done here, like I said, I've got eight flowers, big ones, and then four smaller ones. Now since um, for all these, let me tell you guys real quick the size that I used. Um, a regular origami size paper of 15 by 15 centimeter gives you a pretty big flower and I wanted to have the illusion of a lot kind of like in a field. And so I used uh, one quarter of a size piece of paper for these that I did with the um, eight the eight larger ones. So that was 7.5 by 7.5 centimeters. And uh, again, like I said, there was eight of those. And then for the smaller ones, I um, took the 15 by 15 centimeter paper and folded it into thirds so that I could get um, one third, one, one ninth of the size of origami paper. And that's actually five by five centimeters. And I had four of those. So if you wanted to kind of replicate the scene that I'm doing here today, you'd want to have paper like that. And then I'm also going to be using some uh, handmade paper that has some nice fibers in it to kind of represent the grass. And what I did is I just took a whole bunch and kind of cut it and tore it into little triangular shapes. And I was just going to kind of layer these at different angles and heights to try to represent kind of the... Um, you know, stems and the leaves of the flowers, and then add the flower layer over on top of it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start first with just the grass, take off all of my flowers here. Um, so to make things a little easier, um, because of the way I've kind of cut all these pieces, I'm going to first just start off without the board and just kind of layer up these different stages to kind of create my section of field that I want. And then when I'm done, I can lay it down and just cut the whole group all together to kind of match up with the edge of my board. So I'll move my board out of my way here for a second and just focus on getting the uh, bunch of leaves here all kind of glued together on some, uh, just using this paper to make sure I don't get it all over my desk. But <laughs> So you can kind of just find a common sort of line that you want to follow for everything. And this doesn't need to be super glued down, but you do want to try to keep things, you know, as close to glued down as you can. And it's okay if you do happen to get a little bit of it on uh, the board here because we'll work on trying to find a way for it in a second here. And just kind of randomly layer stuff here if I can. So in the end I've got something that kind of looks like this and if I just take my board here and kind of see if I've got enough, maybe need just a couple more over here on this side.
Make sure you have got enough to go from one corner to the next if you can, of course. So I kind of have this sort of marked off now for having all this and if you've got any extra that you happen to have cut you can just you know stick them anywhere really to add some depth to stuff if you like to. Put one right here maybe. And then I'm just going to go ahead and kind of look at how I want to lay this on here and it tends to work better rather than gluing down first to first cut because it's hard to you know, cut with, even if you use like an X-Acto knife, that can kind of sometimes damage things a little too much. You don't want to cut the board, so I'm just going to fold over the edge to mark kind of where I need to cut with my scissors, and then just try to trim up my edges. So I've got one side kind of trimmed up, and I can get the other side too. Once you kind of got some of that stuff set, then I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom part done too here. So I've got that part kind of cut off here, and then I'm just going to put a bunch of glue on the back so that I can stick this onto my board. And you do want to try to, you know, look out because you do have a lot of layers. Try to go in an order so that you don't disrupt what you've done here. Try to kind of hold on to things, make sure everything doesn't get separated or put in a weird way. <laughs> and like I said, some of the glue might kind of, you might be able to feel it through to the other side. So you want to just try to get it down here, smoosh it down to where you want it, and then just leave it as fast as you can so that it'll get a chance to hold. And if you do find some of these parts that are sticking up and that's bugging you, you could put a tiny bit of glue to try to keep everything flat. Um, I kind of like having some of the edges stick up. Some of it might be sticking up just a bit too much, but you can kind of get it to lay down. It looks a little bit more like grass that way. And then we're just going to go ahead and arrange the flowers all over here to kind of look like... Um, like the nice field of cornflowers. So the particular design of this flower has a really nice triangular section in the back here that you can put some glue on. If you don't want to have a really three-dimensional piece, you can then uh, you could have also kind of smooshed these down on, under something heavy for for the night to kind of keep everything to lay flat and behave. Or you can go ahead and uh, you know kind of um, keep them kind of sticking up in a cool 3D way like this if you want to. But I'm just going to kind of randomly put things in here. So once you get all that kind of glued down, you have something that looks like this. And then I thought just to add a little bit of extra color to the top up here, I was just to put a strip of yellow to kind of give a nice little accent up here. I don't want it to be too thick or anything. And I'm not going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to tear down the edge just to give it a little bit of a fuzz. But uh, let's see what we can do here. This is just some other handmade paper, but it doesn't have the big like layers of fiber in it that uh, some of the other ones do. So here's a little bit of yellow that I was going to use, and I'm just going to make sure I've got the right 
length here for everything by just folding it over a little bit. And it's just a tad bit too wide. I figured using any blue would kind of take away the effect of, this, of the flower, so I thought just a little something of sunshine kind of implied at the top would be good. And then I could just go ahead and put a little glue on that and lay that across the top here. So this is just my glue paper. <laughs> Give a little impression of sun there across the top. But that kind of gives you guys sort of the finished little display of the flowers. And um, yeah, if you guys, uh, this always is a great way to kind of showcase, you know, some finished work that you've done. Uh, you can create pictures, you can just show off some paper with a pretty little design. Lots of different ways you can do it. but. Uh, this is just one little display for the cornflowers. And I'll have some more uh, shikishi or board designs for you guys again next week. So thank you again so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.